Hi all. Today I am going to be with the topic basic Josephson effect. The Josephson effect, uh, as we have seen, there are two superconductors which are which are separated by a, an insulating barrier. Okay, so this is the circuit for showing the Josephson effect. And these two equations, uh, as obtained earlier, we know that is. Two equations describe the VA characteristics of a Josephson tunneling diode that is dou nc of 1 by dou t is equal to minus dou nc of 2 by dou t equal to 2t by cross h nc sin theta 2 minus theta 1. H cross dou theta 2 by dou t minus dou theta 1 by dou t equal to 2 ev. Here theta 2 minus theta 1 is the space difference between the two states of uh, superconductors and t is the characteristic coupling constant and uh, nc is the copper pair density this is the va characteristic curve which shows uh, the char va characteristics of josephson tunnel diode for the comprehensive understanding of the observed characteristic curve we have to conduct the discussion in two steps one is the DC Josephson effect and the other is the AC Josephson effect. Here I am going to deal with the AC Josephson effect. Okay, now friends relation we can understand that as far as the phase difference theta 2 minus theta 1 is time invariant according to the first relation then ICP max remains stable. But the second relation tells us that this state is maintainable only if there is no voltage drop across the diode that is this is maintainable only when V is equal to 0. From this characteristic curve we can understand that uh, here we have seen that an increase in the V external causes the ICP to exceed up to ICP max which resulted in the collapse of ICP and the creation of a potential difference V across the diode. Because of this voltage drop the phase difference between two states of superconductor begins to grow with time according to the second relation. So we have to integrate the second relation. On integrating, we get theta two minus theta one equal to two EVT by cross H plus delta theta naught. Here, the delta theta naught is the initial phase difference. Now, replacing this theta two minus theta one uh, in the first relation, we obtain the relation for current that represents an alternating current, that is ICP. ICP equal to dou nc of 1 by dou t equal to 2 t nc by cross h sin omega cp t plus delta theta naught. Here omega cp is equal to 2 ev by cross h. The phenomenon of generating an alternating current by producing a DC voltage drop across the Josephson junction is called the AC Josephson effect. That is, an alternating current ICP is produced in addition to the direct current contributed by single electron tunneling. Uh, a simple calculation with omega CP is equal to 2 EV by cross H shows that a drop of 1 millivolt across the tunnel diode produces an alternating current of 3 into 10 raised to 12 oscillations per second, which corresponds to a frequency in the IR region of the electromagnetic radiation. This implies that a photon of energy. 2 EV must be absorbed or emitted as a Cooper pair tunnels through a Josephson junction. There are many applications for the Josephson effect. Uh, for example, construction of binary switching devices is based on the two states of Josephson junction. The two states mean ICP non zero at V equal to zero and the single electron tunneling at V non zero. And these devices are very fast and are employed for the computer data storage. Hope you have understood my class. Thank you.